Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm just going to show you how you basically start the time machine thing on your on your MacBook, right? MacBook or iMac or any of the Mac computers supporting time machines. Now, first of all, what you basically need to do is that just go to system preferences. Over there, you can see over here in the system section this is time machine so just click on that and it says off or on now you need to select on for it so just click on on as you click on on it asks you to select a backup drive now if you don't have the backup drive already set up you can click on cancel but I do have it However, I'll still click on cancel just to show you guys how I did set up the backup drive. So I'm clicking on cancel. And I'll just minimize it. Now, uh, you need to partition the drive basically in the Mac OS X journal format. So this is how you do it. You go to applications, utilities, and click on disk utility over there you can see this I have already set up a time machine so all you need to do is that just click on the hard drive and click on partition if you want to partition it for a time machine and if you just have to use it just directly I mean use it that's it you just have to format it in the Mac OS X journal format now this is the time machine that I'm using right now this is if you see over here I have kept it as GUID partition table now you can I mean basically when I got this hard drive this was Western digital hard drive I got it as master boot record because it was pre formatted for Windows however after looking in the you know in the section which says about the formats that you can use it says that master boot record is for Windows based Intel PCs so I thought, no, mine is a Mac-based PC, so I'll use GUID partition table in the options section. So that's what I did. And after you have done that, all you need to do is that in the format, select Mac OS Extended Journaled. That's it. And that's all you need to do. Just select the size and click on Apply. As you click on Apply, it will start formatting the drive. Now, you have it done. You can put the name over here of the hard drive. It's done for you guys, basically. So I'll just show you once how it looks like. If I just click on another partition scheme, volume scheme. If I go, now, in the options, I can select GUID, Apple Partition Map, or Master Boot Record. I selected GUID for mine. I'm just going to click Cancel. I'm not going to do it once again because it's already done. Now, over here, I, you can select any of these formats. If you want to use this particular drive, you can click on XFAT, that is particularly, I think, FAT32, FAT32, but then you cannot use it as a time machine backup machine. I mean, you cannot use the hard disk for time machine backup. So that's why I selected Mac OS Extended Journal. And that's it, guys. Just name it, click on the size that you want to use for your time machine backup, and click on Apply. That's it. I'm going to revert back to my current conditions. I'm not going to do any changes into it because I've already formatted my one hard drive into three partitions. So there you go, guys. Now we'll come back to our time machine. And there it is. Now you need to just select the backup disk that you want to backup. And I'm selecting time machine used for backup. As I do that, it automatically says next backup in 116 seconds, 115, and the time is just running. Now, additionally, you can do this as well, show time machine status in the menu bar. It will start showing you over here. Now, show time machine, and there you see, this, this icon has now come over here, it's showing waiting for backup. So, that is it, guys. There's nothing else in this, in this thing, um, I mean, it's very easy to use. I'm using it because I have some updates upcoming. So I'm just going to back up it once with Time Machine just in case if something goes wrong in case of um, updates. That's it, guys. That's it for the time being. Thanks for watching. Bye.